Hello, you are welcome. How to solve for x in this nice exponential equation? And what is given? It is 4 raised to power x equals to 2x raised to power 32. Here, let's express 4 as 2 squared. Then raised to power x now equals to here we have 2x raised to power 32. Then here, yeah, this power we multiply on the law of indices, then we have 2 raised to power 2x, now equals to 2x raised to power 32 from here. Then here yeah, we have 2x here, come on, let's use a letter to represent that. So let's y be equals to 2x here. And here we can write this as 2 raised to the power y now equals to y raised to the power 32. And here let's remove this power which is y here and multiply with power by 1 over y. So we have 2 raised to the power y times 1 over y then equals to y raised to the power 32 then also raised to power 1 over y. Now here, this power also multiply and y cancel out. Then we have 2 here, which is equal to here. This multiply as well, we have y raised to power 32 over y now. And also, next step, let's raise both sides to 1 over 32. As if here we have 2 raised to power 1 over 32 now equals to here we have y raised to power 32 over y now raised to power 1 over 32 and also from here 32 we cancel 32 here then we are left with y raised to power 1 over y here so we have 2 raised to power 1 over 32 now equals to y raised to the power 1 over y. Now on this side we can write 1 over 32 again as 2 over 64. So we have 2 raised to the power 2 over 64. Now equals to y raised to the power 1 over y. And next we can separate these two here as 2 raised to the power 2 which is raised to power 1 over 64 equals to y raised to power 1 over y. Then 2 raised to power 2, we have 4. That's 4 raised to power 1 over 64 here yeah, equals to y raised to power 1 over y. Then also we can write 1 over 64 as 2 over 128 so we have 4 raised to the power 2 over 128 equals to y raised to the power 1 over y and also here we separate power of 2 here as 4 raised to the power 2 then raised to the power 1 over 128 now equals to y raised to the power 1 over y then also here, 4 squared, 4 times 4, that's 16. Now raised to power 1 over 128. Then equals to y raised to power 1 over y. Then also here, 1 over 128, we can write it as 2 over 256. So we have 16 raised to power 2 over 256. Now equals to y raised to power 1 over y which implies that here we have 16 square raised to power 1 over 256 now equals to y raised to power 1 over y then 16 square 16 times 16 that's 256 raised to power 1 over 256 equals to y raised to power 1 over y then from here, when we compare this, 
side with this side the same number here is the same coefficient of the power and y here is the same thing as y here so we can say therefore y here equals to 256 now recall that we represented y as 2x so which implies that 2x is equals to 256 then divide both sides by 2 from here and 2 cancel out we have x now equals to 128 so we have the value of x is 128 and let's check if this satisfies the given problem what we have here when we substitute x equals to 128 then we have 4 raised to power 128 will it be equals to here we have 2 times 128 raised to power 32 then when we look at this on this side we can rewrite 128 as 2 times 64 as this here we have 4 raised to power 128 is it equal to here we have 2 times 2 times 64 then raised to power 32 then this is same thing as 2 times 2 that's 4 then 64 same thing as 4 raised to power 3 so we have 4 raised to power 128 is it equal to here we have 4 times 4 raised to power 3 here there is to power 32 then when we look at this this is 4 is to power 1 and from the law of indices same base here we can add the power here then we have 4 is to power 128 is it equals to here we have 4 is to power 4 now then 3 to power 32 and here this power we multiply and this becomes 4 raised to power 128 equals to 4 raised to power 128. Now the left hand side equals to the right hand side. And as from here, we conclude that x equals to 128 will satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe to my channel. And turn on the notification bell. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment in the comment section. Thank you. See you next class. Bye for now.